One extra. We need to make some noise right now. For Skepto! Welcome, bro. Welcome. I gotta try and make the welcome sound as welcoming as possible, bro. Love. How are you, man? I'm good, man. It, you know, it's actually been like, aside from a radio convo, I feel like I'm having just a general catch up with you, man. Because yes, I, I bumped into you at Jamie's thing a few yeah. weeks back, but it was very quick and fleeting. Yeah. But how is life, man? Because so much, so much yeah. has happened before, since we last proper checked in, man. Nah, it's good, man. I'm blessed, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm blessed, man. I'm just uh, getting used to dad life. I was just, I was literally, congratulations as well, brother. Oh, I was just about God. to say how's fatherhood. Nah, it's good, man. Yeah. It's nice, man. It's nice. I've always been a dad, though. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course, bro. A yeah. dad's for them. <laughs> yeah, I've always, been, uh, I've always looked after my people's, yeah. man, like a dad, you know what I'm saying? But so when I had a, it was like, it made me realise that, bro, I need to just concentrate on my own yeah. like, actual, like... Yeah. My, actual, my actual, like, my actual blood blood. Water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amazing, like, though, man. And I just, it made me focus more. Amazing. Wicked. And, and you know, you, you decided, you know, 31st of May, it's about yeah. that time. Yeah. It's time again. Yes. What, what made you decide 2019, kind of like almost halfway through the year? Did, was this always the plan? Did you always decide to to, to leave this kind of this gap in between? Because I know you, you haven't been sitting at home just just twiddling your fingers. You've been no. traveling the world, bro, just doing your thing, pushing, pushing everything. We're talking like sold out shows globally, films, documentaries, like yeah, merchandise, designing trainers, like the whole nine, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't, I, like, because of bad energy and praise the Lord, like you almost didn't have to. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was really enjoying. I was really enjoying that. Like I can do anything I want and like go around Africa and perform like a big hit. But and then I can go around the whole world and do praise the Lord. So it was like I was just enjoying that. But I feel like every time I've ever made music that meant anything is because something was happening. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like something was happening. Like when the game went commercial, I dropped Blacklisted, you know what I'm saying? And Blacklisted was like, hey, hey everyone, what do you know doing? What's, do you know what's what actually saying? mad? I always, whenever like people talk about your journey, your your success and where you take, I always channel back to a conversation that we had actually. You probably, you may not even remember it. You guys, you, Wiley, I think was supporting Rick Ross and we was away like in Abu Dhabi or somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you literally, we sat down and you were like, I'm gonna go to New York. When we get back from here, I'm gonna go to New York. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out there and do it, like from the ground up. Yeah. And I was even a bit like, Skep, you sure? Like, you sure? That sounds a yeah. bit like a, it's a big ask. And yeah, he was like, yeah. you know what? No, I'm done. I need to go out there, just fresh surroundings, mm -hmm. and just do my thing there. And literally, we came back. You headed out to New York. Yeah. And the rest is more or less history. You yeah. just broke the world since then, bro. Again, like when I did like, because before I did Konnichiwa, I wasn't even trying to make an album in it. I was yeah. just doing. That's not me and like um man it ain't safe and yeah. like when I was making those tracks again, you know, the game was going away. It was going this way and I just had to I just had to like reshape it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like just to knock it back to London what we do kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So um again, it's happening again. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It is, it's, it it's happening again. Like there's a lot of like you know, as as sick as sick as like you can always pick out like these like pieces, what these sick artists, you know what I'm saying? But it's happening again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I need to I feel like I need to drop this album again to like reshape yeah. everything and like with some fresh sounds. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think one track on my album sounds the same out of the whole 13. Like Sick. everything's different and like the bars that I'm spitting is just factual lyrics. Like there's no politically correct. I'm not yeah. trying to be, you know what I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to like do anything that I should like to try and look prim and proper for the internet. Yeah, man. I'm just like spitting it how it is. And you know, I think people, artists especially, look to you to, to be that person, to kind of mm. step out, to, to reshape things, to push things in a certain direction. So yeah. it, it makes sense to me that, that you're dropping now and, and amongst all this going on, because there is so much going on and so many of these artists have been influenced by the doors that you managed to kick down, by yeah. the achievements that you've, you've managed to achieve, bro. Of course, of Crazy. Course. We haven't even mentioned like Mercury Prizes and, yeah. and being a, a, like a chief back oh, home man, as well. Like crazy. there's, there's so not, much, bro. We ain't even got the time. Up, we ain't like, listen, bro. Up, I ain't had a chance to gas you up for a minute, bro. So <laughs> let me do my thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we should definitely talk about, you know, the, the state of, of, of music in the UK at the moment. And, and is it influencing you? Do, it, does it also influence you back as much as you influence these artists do you hear like a a, a new drill artist and and oh, take yeah. some inspiration and influence from that a thousand percent yeah yeah man there's so much like, like i said like within within like what's going on 
in life, just like the yin and yang of life, you know what I'm saying? Within a load of nonsense, you're going to find like some roses, you know what I'm saying? So, 100%. like, so there's de like, I've met, and most of the artists that I rate, I reach out to them. Like, if I, if I go somewhere and I see them, I'll walk up to them and tell them like, they think man can't see you. Like, you're sick, yeah. you get me? Like, I'll always, I'll always let them know. Like, I might not like, scream and rave about it you know what I'm saying because I like to keep it really like for real for yeah. real so I always go up to them and I tell them just keep doing you man like don't worry about you know don't worry if anyone sounds like you ignore that don't go screaming about oh they just goes, this person sounds like me or this guy does this like me or this guy dresses like me or this guy. don't go doing that because that's not what you're doing it for you're doing it to inspire so once you see that your influence is going out just focus on you and just keep doing you 100 percent yeah. matter and for someone who's you've you've been there done that and worn a t-shirt as well yeah. when it comes to 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 you know your journey so to speak last yeah. what 15 or so years oh, no man i remember <laughs> i don't even want to go back i don't it's want to start crazy. bringing out all the man's crazy stories but, but yeah, like crazy. things are just flashing up like mm -hmm. being back on rinse when when you you literally adjust Gone from being a DJ to, yeah. to, to to jumping on the mic, like, yeah, yeah. and so much has happened, man. And and here we are today talking about the brand new album that's yeah, about man. to shut the place down again. Trust. You got the brand new single. You know, I, I was gassed when I heard that that Nate Smalls was on this record as well because again, another story. We take it back what ten years, maybe around the time that I think Too Many Man and all those records were made, and you guys were coming down to the studio we had in the Road Deep Studio, mm -hmm. and yeah. Nate Smalls was like a thirteen-year-old younger cousin of like. Young Kai or wow. Matt Mangus yeah, people. Okay. He was there, he was in the studio yeah, all the time, yeah, just yeah. like a kid, just there, like just just sick, learning. Sick. And what he's done as well. Every time I see him, like I say to him, bro, the journey you've you've been on and are still on is, is amazing. To see you link up with Naif now yeah. is incredible, man. I think that Naif, like I said before earlier, but today, like I just think Naif is just sick, man. It's like referencing that track, Broken Homes. Yeah. Like when I did Praise the Lord, and I'm doing any tracks of anyone, like stateside or that I know oh yeah they're pushing it stateside I always think like how do I how how do I be me on this record like but like make like make people be able to understand me you know what yeah. I'm saying without having to say fast <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> yeah. how, how, like, like yeah. how do I how do I what English words how can I what's my flex you understand yeah. and when he did Broken Homes with Gunner and um, M. Huncho like that hook mm. like that hook, bro. Yeah. I remember. I he, remember he's I, a real international yeah, like, star I remember waiting to thinking, happen, man. Like, Even before, because he supported us at Ali Pali yeah. um, for my uh, the Kanichiwa. Yeah, yeah. So from smoking, from that track that he did, smoking like that, like all of, like when he's when he sings and he does his thing, like it's something so British about yeah. it. But then it just they understand it's, it's just it's, worldwide. Yeah, it's it just goes everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So like I remember we were sitting in the studio and was thinking of like every singer, like me and MSM, my engineer, my 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 co-producer, my guy, you get what I'm saying? Like, was thinking like, who, like, who is it? Like, somewhat, like, we want to put, like, somebody from this country, like, on this singing thing that does it, like, and we was just like, Naif. Like, when his name come up, we was just like, yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep. Makes sense, man. Yeah. And, and he killed it. He's, he, he made, like, this track's, this track's like an international track with what I'm doing, and then he just, like, makes it double, you know what I'm saying? And what's so sick about that is, like you said, you, you've been an artist who's, for a lot of the UK artists, they're still trying to, not even trying to, there's, there's still a bit of a, a, a misunderstanding, if you like, or a, a social gap between mainly the US and, and some of the UK artists, but you yeah. were, you as an artist who could go to the States, yeah. do your London thing, but they understood it. Yeah. They they got it. And and off the back of that, they were in, interested in finding out about more artists. So yeah. the fact that you and Naif, who both have a knack of doing your your, of your very UK thing, but in a very international way. Yeah, man, that's what it's about, man. Yeah, man. I feel like, because I've, I've been blessed enough to like travel the whole world of like, Especially off that Konnichiwa album, yeah. it took me everywhere. Like I've Mad. been everywhere. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Mad. I've been Literally. everywhere. Yeah. Literally. So it's like I've I've been able to see. Wow. Like right. It's my clarity. Like like wow. People could understand what I'm saying. Like even with my swag. Like certain things I'm saying, they'll write. Want to know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what is that word? At least I can understand it to ask what it is. You know what I'm saying? So 100%. um, yeah. I feel like traveling is a blessing. One of the one of the blessings for music that that I would never regret this career for, you know what I'm saying? Like traveling, being able to travel the world and see and understand like what why a record's big, whether it's like all these other artists who have big records, why, why? Oh, it's the clarity, oh, it's the pain, oh, it's the love. Okay, cool, let's go and like, 
it was good to work with Naif, man. He's a genius. Listen, 100%. We, we, we cannot wait for the album to drop, man. 31st of May. I feel like we need to do something e even longer than this, bro. We got, like, there's so much stuff we need to talk yeah, about. I'll there be is. back. You know, it is. I, I just didn't come up to the building for a yeah. while, not because of not, like, not because of anything other than myself. Yeah. You know, I always get into these points in life where people might even think, like, even when I, when I made this album, I changed my number. And I didn't give it out to anyone but my manager and like yeah. a couple of my friends, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people might think that when I do stuff like that, it's to them, but it's not. It's yeah. always to do with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm always upset with myself yeah. for being on Instagram all the time. <laughs> yeah. I think we all are. Seeing my screen time and yeah. understanding, raw seven hours. But that you screen time made, thing's mad. It makes crazy. you think, what am I doing? Yeah, bro? like, and like seven hours, six hours. I'm like, what's going on, bro? Like, you could make this or. You know, I just didn't come up for a while because I really wanted to like I we like you said earlier about Pirate Radio, we done this. We yeah. when we're making beats in the studio, Listen. we're not trying to get nothing. There wasn't else. there was nothing. I don't even think we're trying to get peas. Yeah. No, there was we're no trying peas. to get a reload. Yeah. That we're, was it. We're trying to get people to go mad yeah. for the song. Yeah. And because I've been there and have understood that, that that feeling, that emotion's in my soul, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? So when I so when everything was going the way it was, I was like, no, hold on, I need to go to America and spit my lyrics because I know that if I say, what do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean, you fool, like they can understand what I'm saying. So you know what? I need to just not go anywhere for a sec. Do me. Then when I, then when the, the, the it's been translated, like man went America, bus America, bro, everyone, now they want to know everything about London. Man. You know what I'm saying? I can go through that because the worst, the rest of the world kind of followed the movie of America. Now we've done that and translated that. Now I could just come back yeah. to radio. I'm with Target, I'm with 100%. Annie. Yeah, I'm here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy with everybody's music, what's going on. And I just know that there's this skep thing that I do. And here it is, like solidified. Yeah, bro. yeah. This skep thing, this skep Listen, boy better know thing. We've only got a few weeks to wait for the album, but we don't have to wait to hear this single because Grease Mode. Yes, out. it's ready. We need to do it right now, man. Trust. A video for this dropping as well. Yeah, man. We're shooting now. This, that video is gonna be crazy, as expected. Yeah, it's gonna be a sick. The, video. In fact, the whole, the whole, very quickly, the whole kind of um, concept around the album with the heat, the heat source yeah, mapping, and yeah, is yeah. it called thermology? Yeah, is that what they call yeah. it? Where did that come from as well? Um, that just come from getting getting high. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play, bro. Like, like inspiration could come from anywhere, man. Yeah, it just come from just getting like trippy, man. Just yeah. like understanding like energies and that. And I just wanted to like um, make people feel it without mm. having to get themselves involved. In <laughs> you know yeah, just like yeah. when you're driving up like, down the road at yeah. night time, like. When you see the artwork, it's gonna feel like it's gonna burn through the canvas yeah. of like it's very, very strong. Sick. You know what I'm saying? London's grey and all these things, and you're driving. When you see the artwork, it's like pow, like Sick. you probably just dream about it at night. Mad. Yeah. I'm, I know there's gonna be some crazy shows to accompany. I know you got mad idea. I know like yeah, I know there's gonna be a whole rollout of stage craziness, is, bro. Stage, the stage has to switch up now, you get me? Because yeah. we've got the new aesthetic and that, so. I'm looking forward to it, man. Like I said, like I've, I'm Konnichiwa took me everywhere, yeah. like, and for like three years I've just been performing it the same set, every track of Konnichiwa, the same set around the world, and all those videos you see of everyone going mad is the same set. So, right. yeah, I just I needed like especially like all these festivals I'm doing this year, I needed as as, as well to feel like excited about yeah. them. And now I've got a new album, like I'm ready to like start jumping. Jeez, listen. I can't wait for all this to come this summer. It's going to be very big, Skep, man. Right now, though, we need to press play on the brand new single. It's tonight's Target Embargo, Skepta, alongside Nave Smalls. Turn it up. Cheeks, grease mode. Cheers. Blessings, praise the Lord. You know the steeds, super grease. Nothing nice. Tell the promoter, bring the peas. The brand new single Grease Mode, that's what you just heard. The brand new album is out 31st of May. I gotta say big up for coming through as well, bro, man. Love. I got like I need to see you back here sooner than like three years' time or nah, something. Nah, like, please, I'm here, bro. man. I'm I'm I feel like <clears> my work's like my work's done. Like I did like a very selfless act, man, when yeah. I did that, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like sleeping on like sleeping in art galleries on the floor in New York, bruv, like sleeping Mad. on like you re Like you really done like yeah, I was doing the it. full thing, bro. I was bro. doing it, yeah, like I was just doing it and I felt like it needed to be done and no one was going to do it. Nobody was going to do no it. One, no one, yeah, nobody was going to you know do what it. You know what I'm saying? Bro. So um, 
just putting my laptop on my back and going out there and like spreading it across the world. And don't let, I, I, and I hate, and I wouldn't want this focus to keep being on America, but I just know that the world has watched America. It was, a, it was a big gateway for the it's rest like, of the world. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like, I needed to do that. And this whole concept of breaking America, I needed to go and break it and I broke it, you know what I'm saying? And now, now it's, it's been broken. And now we can just make whatever, everyone can just go and make whatever they want to make. Like, no, it's not no obligation to make no grime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We need Mo Stack to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need Stormzy to do that as well, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And we need Dave to do what he's doing. Like, everyone can just do what they're doing. You hear the accent, you know that's London Bank. Like, that's them boys from over there, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like once that's done, now I'm just like, I'm just enjoying it, bro. Sick. Yeah, bro, I was going to make like... skip music. We could applaud you like for, for the next couple hours for, for the doors you've broken for, for all these artists, man. But like we're just excited about the brand new album. Like you said, yeah. you can just kick back now and enjoy it and, and yeah, just, just get back out there with the new music, man, which is sick. I can't wait to get to the shows to be honest, because that's what that's what my music's all about. Yeah. Like shows and have, that. have you got I'm sure you got some stuff lined up, nothing to announce just yet though. What shows? Yeah. Yeah, I got bare shows. I, I, I didn't I didn't say yes to like my agent would send me stuff and I'd just be ignoring the text, like <laughs> just so like and I hope she didn't think that it was I was being rude to her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I did. I won. I just needed to focus on myself. Yeah, like man. I needed to just make because I know what I do on stage in it. So I just had to lock myself away and just make like 13 of those. Man, I'm just ready to touch the stage, Jeez. bro. I can see it, bro. I can see it in your face, bro. You got yeah. the twinkle. Like I'm ready, bro. <laughs> I have seen ready, that twinkle I'm many just times, ready to bro. Touch the stage. Man. Listen, we need to make some more noise for our Thursday night special guest, man. We can't wait for the album. Ignorance is bliss. 31st of May. Mm -hmm. The single is out there right now. Video is gonna be dropping. Just get ready for everything, man. Let's make some noise for Skepta. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video. You can find more by clicking the links on screen now.